Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Marta. Today is the 13th of February and I have some news here today from Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, Square has given some details on how the beta schedule is actually going to work. And they have said that it will be broken into two phases. Now, as you might expect, there will be a character wipe after the first phase, which will begin on the 22nd of February, which will be free to all. And that ends the on the 3rd of March, according to the PlayStation blog. However, characters created for the second phase, which is the 4th to the 7th of April, will be carried over into the full game. So basically, there's only going to be one character wipe for the beta. Now you can use your PC or PS3 characters in the PS4 beta by transferring character data. You will not have to do this when the game, full game, sorry, launches on 14th of April as everyone will play on the same server. So essentially, if for some reason you wish to try out the PS4 version of the game and you just want to transfer your character over into the beta, you can do and then you can play with that established character and just see which version you prefer or if you just want to satisfy your curiosity or what have you, you can do so. But if you decide to switch over to the PS4 version, say from the PS4, the PS3 version rather, then you will not have to worry about doing a character transfer as of course everyone will be on the same servers once the beta period is over and the game actually releases. Now, if you want to transfer your PS3 FF14 account to the PS4, you can do exactly that starting the 11th of April and you'll actually enjoy early access until the 13th. However, once you transfer, there's no going back though, and if you want to play on both machines, you will need to buy a second copy of the game. So there you have it, a bit of an update regarding the beta plans and the release plans for Final Fantasy XIV for most of the versions there. I think most of the information was regarding the PS3 and PS4 versions, which makes sense because of course it is cross-generation. And it seems as if quite a few people are considering getting the PS4 version for the remote play feature. And this game seems to be going strong now that they've got past a slightly shaky and problematic launch, which, as I said many times when I was doing the videos on it, is expected for a big MMO release. And it does seem to be pretty much problem-free. Of course, you get your, your usual bugbears with online games, but I mean the launch problems. So there you have it. Hopefully that's clarified some information for you guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.